How's it going everybody? Thanks once again for stopping by the channel. Remember to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already and leave your comments down below. I really appreciate it. On today's video we're going to be doing the installation of the Rogue Rider Industries Black Label Special Edition LED front turn signals and LED rear brake lights. Uh, I've already installed these on my bike but I'm going to go ahead and do a quick walkthrough and impressions. Uh, showing you kind of how to install these things. It's a really, really simple procedure, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways, just because it makes for good content. So let's go ahead and roll the intro, and then we'll get back to the video and uh, install these guys, and I can show you what they look like uh, when they're off and also when they're turned on and uh, give you my brief overview of it. So stick around. All right, so first of all, let's talk about the price of these things. I'm gonna say right off the bat that these are not cheap, but they are well worth the money. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you what's in the box, but first I'm gonna show you the invoice just so you know exactly how much these things are gonna cost you. So we'll just toss this box aside. Don't worry, there's nothing in that one. <laughs> but here's the invoice showing you the price, what you're gonna pay. These were $84.99 a pair and plus $11.22 shipping. So it brings the total up to $181.20. But like I said, they're well worth the price. And you even get a nice little thank you from the, uh, the owner of the company. I assume he's the owner. Rich, I don't know what his name is, but there's the invoice and what you get in the box when you open them. Comes with a nice little business card here. And it also comes with a couple of uh, pretty cool little stickers. Got that one. And that one. So if you want to stick those on your bike or your toolbox or something, you have the option to do so. Uh, inside the box here, we'll go ahead and open it up. And uh, you basically you have this little piece of paper here that talks about the lens gasket. I don't know. I just kind of tossed that aside. That didn't apply to my motorcycle. So, and then you also have an instruction sheet, which kind of goes over how to install everything and also on the bottom it kind of shows you the difference between the 1157 and the 1156 type bulbs uh, from my understanding when you order these things you have to basically if your if your Harley Davidson comes with a standalone brake light in the middle of the rear fender then you're going to want to buy the 1156 style bulbs for your motorcycle but if your brake light is integrated with your turn signals then you're going to go with the 1157 style and that's what I bought from my bike so uh, like I said it just goes over the installation how to install them and some troubleshooting and things like that so these are really simple install on these bulbs so you really you don't really need those if you've ever changed a light bulb in a car or a motorcycle this is pretty straightforward but uh, inside the package underneath here so you can see there's there's the LED panel itself with a connector on the end of it with the 1157 style connector on these there's one missing here because it's already in the bike so i'll put, go ahead and pull this out of the box and show it to you so here's what the led panel itself looks like this is the front this is the back very well built and this is what the connector looks like quality construction looks really well all right let's go over to the bike and go ahead and put this thing in get it installed all right, now the only tool you're gonna need to install these turn signals and brake lights is basically just a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver. And in order to get your uh, old lens cover off, all you have to do is take the screwdriver, insert it into the side. There's a slot in the side of the lens cover. Put the screwdriver in there and just twist. And the cap comes right off. It's that easy. Now don't worry about scratching your paint. I was pretty worried about it myself when I did this the first time, but the paint on these things, I don't know if it's powder coated, but it's pretty tough finish on here. So uh, if you insert the screwdriver and just be gentle about it and twist it out nice and slow, don't worry about, it. you're not gonna scratch your paint. Now to get the old bulb out, all you do is just basically push in on it, twist it to the left and pull it out and it comes right out. Now to put the new LED turn signal in, you have to know which direction these little posts on here are oriented. If you look at it close enough, you can see that the posts are offset. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you put it back in the correct direction. 
Now to finish the installation, you're going to want to take all this wire that's on the back of the turn signal and just kind of coil it around inside there, twist the lens, sorry, twist the panel itself and then kind of hold it in there with your finger. Take the brake light cap, the lens cover, kind of guide it in there. And then all you do is just press the lens back into place and it'll snap back in and you're pretty much done. Now to install the front turn signals, you basically just repeat the process like you done on the back. Pop the cap off, take out the factory bulb, push in, twist left, pull it right out. Take the new bulb, push it in, twist to the right, coil the wire, hold it in with your thumb, place the new lens, and then firmly push it into place. And you're finished. It's that easy. Okay, now let's go ahead and turn the bike on and see what they look like. You can't really tell on camera, but these things are blindingly bright uh, because of the way cameras work. Obviously, you know, it does some stuff inside to make it so that it, it turns down the exposure and uh, kind of dims the, the light a little bit. But trust me, these things are exceedingly bright and well worth the money. So let's hit the uh, turn signal and see how it looks. And now we'll go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the rear of the bike so you can see what the brake lights and turn signal looks like from behind. Okay, well there you have it guys. There's my uh, real quick video of installation and overview of these Rogue Rider Industries LED front and rear turn signals and slash driving lights. Everybody, I want to thank you for watching and uh, tell I see you on the next video. Have a good one. Ride safe. Everybody take care of each other and uh, see you later.